Hello YouTube. This is Rolly from Accounterpoint Life, and today we're going to be looking at What? That's my real voice. Come on. Specifically, we're going to look at Mir Pro 24 versus Spaces, and also a few other algorithmic reverbs like the RC48 and Miracle, which is um, a Vienna product and now is bundled with Mir Pro. And I should say that these tracks are not finished products. There's no EQ on them. There's no compression. Um, and so there's just trying to really compare uh, apples with apples, re the reverb. So the setups tried to be as um, close to each other as possible. If you want to jump ahead, this is a pretty long video. I get that. Uh, the timings are up on the screen there. So you can just click on the one that you want to have a listen to. Um, I'm just going to yabber on here about some background stuff, um, but you can see there that there's starts off with a reference audio and then um, the various different setups. So I guess uh, I, I just put this video together because when I was looking for something like this, I couldn't really find anything that um, applied to my own needs. So trying to see these reverbs compared in an orchestral setting. So hopefully this will be of use to some of you guys out there if you're in the same boat. Um, the other thing I should say is I'm going for realism in this rather than a sort of cinematic sound. So I've mocked up a little bit of a um, Ravel piece that uses a medium-sized orchestra and a whole bunch of percussion. So hopefully that will give you a good sense of how it might, might work in that sense. And just on the mock-up, I'm sure there's probably plenty of you out there that could do it better. I'm still learning how to do that part, but hopefully it won't annoy you too much and you can just um, try and focus on the reverb part of things. And um, just on that, like I, I really am interested in this idea of your sound in a particular space. So um, the, the notion of these multiple impulse response convolution reverbs like Ultiverb and Mir Pro um, that let you, let you really do that. And I only have, um, I only have Mir Pro, I don't have Ultiverb, so that's what I'm going to be focusing on. Um, and I think they're really great because you get huge amount of flexibility um, with setups like mic setups uh, and, and working within a space. But, oh, man, they're expensive, so expensive. So I think you need to think really carefully about whether you want that and whether that's important because something like Spaces goes about it in a slightly different way, which offers a lot less flexibility but still a really good sound. And um, when those guys put on those specials, it's really cheap. Like it's a really great product for the price. And I think that's something that East West have done um, for a long time, made really competitively priced products. So it's a good option. I've also thrown in there some algorithmic reverbs because I really like the sound that these, these produce. And they also are quite cheap and give you a whole bunch of flexibility. So I put in there uh, a couple of those just to compare it against the convolution reverbs. Anyway, we're going to get into it. So starting off with reference audio that you can come back to as you listen to the different setups and um, see how it sort of compares. All right, here we go.